Do you know who you really are? How does self-awareness make you happier? And how can you develop more of it? Watch on to find out. Ooh. Hi, I'm Charlie Inman from MindShine. So far, we've helped over 100,000 people around the world train their minds and live happier lives. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at our number one pillar of happiness, self-awareness. Talking about why it's so important to developing more happiness and how we can get more of it. So what is self-awareness? Simply put, it's our ability to see ourselves clearly and objectively. And it's essential for any form of self-improvement. Without a clear picture of who we are, where we're at, what we want and how we're doing, it's impossible to plot any sort of course or chart our progress. Self-awareness has a host of proven benefits, including making us more proactive, giving us more self-control, creativity, self-esteem, and productivity. We make better decisions, we become better at our jobs, and we're more inclined to self-development. But how does all this help us become happier? Well, when we're self-aware, we understand ourselves better. And what we understand, we can change. If we know where we're at, we've got somewhere to start from. If we know what we want in life, we can make a plan to get it. If we know our strengths, we can steer our lives down the paths well suited to us, where we're at an advantage. If we know our weaknesses, then we know what to avoid and what to work on. Knowing ourselves also helps us to recognize the patterns and triggers which get in the way of our happiness. Knowing our core values allows us to align our lives with them and aim towards a life of purpose. And that's proven to make you happier. Knowing how we're doing allows us to chart our progress and steer our course more precisely. And finally, knowing what we like allows us to make the kind of choices that bring us more happiness. Avoiding the parties we didn't want to go to anyway, spending more time in jazz clubs, or doing needlepoint, or reading fantasy novels. Whatever you do, you're happiest when you're doing you. So how do we get more self-aware? Well, for starters, you have to really want to work on it. Working on your self-awareness is hard. It's work, which is why most of us dodge it. We all think we're self-aware, but according to the latest research, only 10 to 15% of us actually are. If you want to increase your self-awareness, here are some things to try. Journaling is a great way to get to know yourself. Sit down once a day and write about your experience. How are you doing? Write it all down, unfiltered. And here's a great tip from Tasha Urich, the author of a four-year study on self-awareness. Instead of asking yourself questions that start with a why, ask yourself questions beginning with what. So not why did this happen to me, but what do I need to do to improve it? If you're trying to get to know yourself, why not ask the people who spend the most time with you what they think of you? After all, your friends, family and colleagues must have noticed the odd pattern or strength over the years. Be careful though. Ask people whose opinion you value. And don't get angry if you hear things you don't particularly like. Their honesty is a gift. As long as it's constructive, appreciate their feedback. It comes from a place of love. If they didn't care about you, it will be far easier to just dodge the question and say, ah, everything's fine. This one is a no-brainer. Mindfulness practice comes with a whole host of mental and physical benefits. It calms anxiety, it organizes your thoughts and allows you to get in touch with yourself on a deeper level. And it's free. Sitting down and having a long think and talk about your life is a privilege. It's a gift to yourself. If you can afford it, therapy is a great way of developing your self-awareness. And last, but by no means least, there's an app for that. Try our MindShine app for a whole host of free exercises and routines that can help you work on your self-awareness and live a happier life. Check us out in the App Store.